David Ibiyo Merebu's primary school he attended, Banham Methodist Academy. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Pastor David Ibiyome, the founder and senior pastor of Salvation Ministries, is one of the popular and richest pastors in Nigeria. He is one of the products of the prestigious Banham Methodist Academy, Agra Road, Port Harcourt. <laughs> this is actually a very, very good gesture. This gesture is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. There are some people who come out and say, oh, why don't, why don't he do it in secret, you know? And all that and all that. At the end of the day, he did something marvelous. He did something good. <laughs> uh, at the end of the day, we don't get to see this every day. Yes, we don't get to see this every day. So, kudos to him. And uh, unfortunately, what the government cannot do, some individuals do it. As in, it is a function. You know that this thing is particularly the function of um, the government. That is, if Medo if Methodist school is a government school, before people come for me. <laughs> but if it is not, it is kind-hearted individual can also tell the same path. Yes, yes, yes. It is the government school that are, that is actually the function of a government, and not a privately owned school. Okay. The news in detail. Please stay with us. Until its demolition in 2021, Banham Methodist Academy has just classrooms. The new Banham Methodist Academy has now has 30 classrooms in addition to other facilities. All this would not have featured without the grace of God on the life of Pastor Ibiyomi. In the Deuteronomy 15 verse 11, the Bible says, For the power will never cease from the land. Therefore, I command you, saying, You shall open your hand wide to your brother, to the poor and the needy in your land. However, the newly built Burnham Methodist Academy is one of the many kind gestures of Pastor David Ibiomi in helping the society. It is a lesson ministers of God should learn from him. You should not only invest in the church, the society also deserves some development. When you try to effect changes on your community, you would have more followers and when you preach to people, there is a high possibility that they will answer. Okay, like I said earlier, this is actually a wonderful one, and uh, it's a good one. It's a good one from him. Kudos to him. We don't get to hear this kind of news on a daily basis. Okay, why not? Why not heed the injunction of a Messiah, which requires you to do your charity work in secret, so as to be duly rewarded by your heavenly Father? You see, now you've already gotten your reward from men. Men now know what a wonderful Christian you are, so you get no reward from God. <laughs> Ah, oh, more people, what people eh? Hmm. He did not allow it, but the media reported it. The Bible says, let your lights shine before me so that they will see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. We have many pastors, huh? <laughs> we have many pastors. Okay. This is life touching projects. Well done, sir. Yes, kudos to him, kudos to him, kudos to him. God bless you, sir. Please let us always try to appreciate someone for doing good, just the way we criticize for doing bad. This is a good one, and we got reward in abundance for remembering your roots. Exactly. Nigerians, it is not every time you criticize. If you see something that is good, you, 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 you say it is good. Eh? It is not every time you bring in Daboski and you bring, you know, war. There are times where you told the part of peace at the end of the day. We are all human beings. Nobody can be one hundred and one percent. Nobody. I mean, nobody can be one hundred and one percent um perfect. Nobody can be. The one that said he will not receive any reward from God was where that one. That one. Ah, I was like, are you serious? So you are now God's minister. Like you are God's um helper. Now, you are the one that decides for him. Who he will help and who he will not. No. So it's not supposed to be like that at all. It's not supposed to be like that. If you see something good, something being done, whoever that did it, pastor did it to, this person did it to, um, said it, um, you, you, as in somebody did something good. I mean, this is, this is very, very encouraging. It is. It is very encouraging. At the end of the day, this is what they call, what they call impact. You're not just doing it for one person. You're doing it for a community. 
So if people will not get to go to school, hopefully, you know, the fees are not, not, are not going to be too, too high. They're not going to go to school in a better environment. They will go to school and they will learn because they are now in a better environment. Sincerely, it is impact. Way to go, way to go. Kudos to you, sir. That is the truth. Such testimonies will encourage others to do the same, right? Especially when I see and hear, it moves me to do more for God's glory. Have you heard it? Those who are saying you would have done it secretly. At the end of the day, if you... At the end of the day, if you... Um, if you do it, others get to see it, and of course it inspires others. And this one, like I was saying earlier on, is not something that... Um, it's not something that, how am I going to put it now, that can be hidden. It's not something that can be hidden at all. It is going to shine forth. It will shine forth and, you know, even history will never forget what, um, history, will never, history will never forget what you've done or the impact you have made. You have succeeded in writing or writing your name in the sands of time. Okay. God bless you for your good, good deeds, sir. Of course, so God bless you, sir. God bless you plenty, plenty, plenty. You did a great job, sir. God bless you. Yes, all around the place. God bless you. God bless you. This is wonderful news. This is beautiful news. This news is wonderful. Awesome news. So people who, were not, who stopped going to school when that particular school was demolished, at the end of the day, they are now going to be looking forward to going to school. Like I say, hopefully the fees are not going to be too uh, it's not it's not going to be too expensive, so people will get to people will get to um, see see this, and of course they are encouraged to do more, to do to do something similar to this. Yes. Even it might not be a school, it might be something else. But so far, this is an impact. As far as I'm concerned, this is an impact where, you know, the whole, like a community of children. Imagine you growing up and they said, oh, our school was taken down and then somebody came and built it up. For that child, it is going to register in his or her memory, whether he like it or not. It is going to register and the child grow with it and, you know, become a very, very, very promising child or very um, useful child to the society. Okay, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.